guys, welcome back to our K-pop news discussion series. In today's video, we'll dive into the most recent controversies that have been making waves in K-pop. From Jisoo finally dating to Itzy being allegedly flopped and Lily and Mix getting totally ignored. Get ready to uncover all the drama that has been flooding social platforms lately. It's going to be a wild ride. Let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about the recent breaking news that has been confirmed by the representative agencies. Blackpink's Jisoo and K actor An Bo Hyun are dating. On August 3, 2023, South Korean media outlet Dispatch reported that the duo is dating, unveiling exclusive pictures of the couple, spending quality time together at Jisoo's luxurious apartment in Yongsan. Dispatch revealed that whenever Jisoo returned from her overseas activities, An Bo Hyun would meet at her home. They are said to be in a relationship since at least May of this year. In response to the reports, Jisoo's agency YG Entertainment and An Bo Hyun's agency FN Entertainment released an official statement claiming that they are getting to know each other little by little, with good feelings. The companies would appreciate it and hope everyone would keep a warm gaze on the couple. This confirmation is a significant milestone for the visual of Blackpink, as this is the first time YG Entertainment has officially addressed and confirmed a dating rumor concerning any member of the global renowned girl group. According to Dispatch in July, although An Bo Hyun was occupied with his projects See You in My 19th Life and Busan Boy's Sydney Bound, he made it a habit to visit Jisoo. Jisoo, known as a home buddy, often spends most of her time at home after completing overseas schedules, and home was also chosen as her dating place. The report mentioned that both Jisoo and An Bo Hyun are cautious about their surroundings due to Jisoo's status as a member of an international famous girl group, so their dating locations are often limited. Furthermore, Dispatch highlighted An Bo Hyun's considerate nature as he was said to adjust his work commitments to match Jisoo's busy schedule. They have a lot in common and now, both of them are continuing their mature relationship and care deeply for each other. It can be said that Jisoo has been known as an affectionate person who has always kept her personal life secret. So as she makes her first dating reveal, the reaction of most fans and netizens was a mix of shock and joy. Oh my god! Wow! Blinks from around the world have flooded social media with messages of love and support for the newfound couple. They were thrilled to see Jisoo find her love and the lucky young man happens to be one of the hottest names in the K-drama industry, who also takes good care of Jisoo and has a down-to-earth personality, making him a perfect match for the female idol. Many also rejoice to witness their idols embracing this new chapter in their lives and have vowed to support them wholeheartedly. Well, comparing it to Jenny's dating news, the revelation of Jisoo's relationship was received with much more positive and gentle regard. It's unclear whether this has anything to do with the identities of the two gentlemen involved with Jisoo and Jenny, but there's certainly a noticeable difference in the way the two couples are treated. Anyways, while it is common for fans to be curious and excited about their idols' relationships, I think respecting their privacy and allowing them to enjoy their relationship without any excessive scrutiny is crucial. Both Jisoo and An Bo Hyun deserve love, encouragement, and support throughout their careers. I wish them nothing but happiness and success in all aspects of their lives. Now, we are coming to the next equally hot discussion revolving around ITZY's new mini-album, Kill My Doubt. Due to the group's not-so-good first 24-hour achievement with this mini-album, many netizens have raised concerns about ITZY's decline in popularity. So, ITZY just dropped their music video for Cake several days ago. The comeback was a highly anticipated one as their latest comeback treasure was around 8 months ago. According to the data released by the Hantea chart, ITZY's seventh mini-album Kill My Doubt, which features the lead single Cake, recorded 318,352 album sales, breaking the record previously set by the group's sixth mini-album Treasure, which had around over 275,000 units sold. MV Cake also went on trending in 44 countries, peak number one trending YouTube worldwide in the first 24 hours. However, contrary to expectations to get hype again, ITZY's career seems to be going rather downhill than uphill. 
Specifically, according to many charts in South Korea, the real-time chart for Cake debut at 7 p.m. KST on July 31st only reached number 24 on Bugs and number 51 on Genie. In the following days, the song's position remained quite low, and it even came close to falling out of the top 100, despite being released just a few days ago. According to the Daily Chart debut, the debut position of Cake also wasn't promising, with ranks like number 50 on Bugs, number 67 on Genie, and number 85 on Melon. In the international musical app iTunes, Cake only debuted at number 43 on worldwide iTunes song chart and reached number 1 in just one country. Even worse, number 144 was where Cake debuted on Spotify Daily South Korea chart, with more than 5,000 streams. When compared to other fourth generation girl groups, without any doubt, many are saying that it sees declining in popularity. Regarding this issue, K-netizens also expressed mixed viewpoints. On the one hand, many stated that the song is too mediocre to capture any attention from non-fans, and the group seems to be losing their own music style, as JYP Entertainment wants to follow the current trend of Gen 4 with easy-to-listen music, they are forcing ITZY to follow this style without thinking of whether it is suitable for them. Thus, it ended up with the fact that the song won't be as good as expected. Netizens also added that the voices of some members are not layered enough and cannot express a deeper beauty, resulting in the songs not having too high aesthetic value. It sounds disjointed and not cohesive at all, some said. Therefore, they think that ITZY cannot reach the peak of their career they used to have during their debut with Dala Dala. But there's a flip side, of course. Some believe that ITZY is just at a later point in their career. Just because they aren't the big talk of the town anymore doesn't mean they're losing popularity. Not only did they sell over 1 million albums with Cheasure, but they also have had successful tours and a stable fandom. Many think that ITZY's position in the fourth generation girl groups is totally fine, as not everyone has to be at the forefront of popularity all the time. Nowadays, there is an oversaturation of girl groups, and with JYP Entertainment's marketing strategy, I think ITZY's position becoming a little vague is kinda natural. In fact, the company doesn't allow ITZY members to pursue individual activities, to strengthen their personal brand and attract non-fans. Each member has great talents, but to be honest, ITZY is the only K-pop group without any individual activities such as acting, emceeing, and serving as radio DJs. So it is no wonder that they are losing more than gaining. Hope that the company would change its strategy and management they are applying on the girl group. The last piece of news in this video is about the treatment of fans and even other members towards Enmix's Lily at a recent group fan sign event. Particularly on July 28, a video of a recent fan meeting event for Enmix has been gaining attention online due to the alleged mistreatment of Lily by fans and other members at the venue. The fan meeting took place on July 13, capturing the moment when all six Enmix members were wrapping up a fan signing event. They were seen posing cutely, showing off adorable headbands and hats they received from their fandom, Answer. However, viewers were quick to notice that Lily seemed to be upset due to her downcast appearance. It seems that she wasn't given any gifts while the rest of the members were. Instead of participating as actively as other members, Lily looked down and tried to force a smile whenever the other Enmix members shared something. Later, Lily could be seen standing awkwardly to the side while the other five members interacted with fans, with some fans claiming that the other members didn't even try to include Lily in their conversations and interactions. As soon as the video was published on different online platforms, netizens had mixed opinions about the scene. Initially, there are fans who think that there could be various reasons why Lily was looking down in the video, such as feeling unwell. However, the majority felt the tense yet heartbreaking atmosphere, and they believe that Lily was actually ignored. Consequently, some criticize the other Enmix members, especially the group's leader, Hewan, for not paying any attention to Lily's feelings during the fan meeting and acting like it's none of her business. Many also expressed their pity towards Lily, with some comparing her situation to Kepler's Bahi and former Pristin member Kyla, who were also ignored at fan sign events in the past. On the flip side, some K netizens argue that it wasn't the group's fault, but it was the so called fans who treated Lily unfairly. They emphasize that those fans, for unknown reason, tried to make Lily feel like an outcast by not giving her any gift and attention. 
Even non-fans who watched this video said that if they had a chance to meet Lily, they would definitely send gifts to her and comfort her. Some mentioned that after watching this video, they realized that NMIX's fandoms rarely have group stands. Almost everyone in the fandom is an individual stand, so they never take care of anyone who's not their bias. Well, I myself was also quite shocked and stunned by how Lily was treated by K-fans. I wondered how much did she want to leave amid the fan sign event. Maybe it is because Lily is a foreign member and Korean people are said to be not so into foreign people, so she doesn't receive as much attention and admiration as other Korean members. Anyway, I hope that fans and netizens will treat the members equally and without bias, because only when all members receive the same treatment will they be motivated to continue working and being dedicated to their career. So, what do you think about Jisoo dating An Bo Hyun? Is Itzy really losing their heat? And if you were at that fan sign, what would you do to make Lily feel better?